Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number 10 reaction. Now it's been a while I've actually reacted to this because I became a little bit busy. I also became a little bit sick within these few days. So I will have been pretty inconsistent with a few of my like you know reactions uh, while trying my best to do like you know kind of uh, be consistent with a few other shows uh, this one like you know I, I had to become inconsistent because this day I, I usually am a little bit uh, busier IRL so I wasn't able to get enough time to react to this but now finally after I think three weeks or something um, yeah I'm finally okay now and I, I'll be able to react to back I'll be able to start reacting to this back again uh, this is episode number 10 so we're almost at the end uh, of Carnival Phantasm uh, and after uh, ending Carnival Phantasm, I will check out a few other, um, like, you know, shows related to Carnival Phantasm, like some things like I, I, I do, I have seen like there are a few other stuff, uh, OVA stuff, like, you know, spin-off stuff of FG, uh, FGO and Fate, which I need to react to. So I'll be doing those after Carnival Phantasm ends. So yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, this is episode number 10. Uh, the previous episode, we uh, had the race, the race episode. And it was like one of my favorite episodes when I actually watched this like a few, uh, like, you know, five or six years ago. And it still is like, it's like one of the best <laughs> episodes for me in Carnival Phantasm because so many things happen. Like, you know, the whole thing with like, you know, different, uh, <laughs> all the different cars that the different servants uh, you know drive and that whole thing of um you know like bazaka then um like you know the person who wins by the end and seeing how different servants like you know their personality kind of reflects into their cars and them actually racing <laughs> in on them that was hilarious and uh, yeah unfortunately lansa died again as always but uh, yeah like it, it was a, it was a great episode so yeah and uh, let's see what this episode brings and uh, from here onwards i don't remember what happens uh, i feel like the date episode is still left to be covered the one where shiro and uh, shinji tries to you know like date all of them at the same time uh, all of their respective heroines so that one is still left i feel like we're going to see that sooner or later but anyways let's get started this is episode number 10 so, I'll be putting your subtitles on the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's start. Okay, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! Customers. <laughs> wow. Okay, who... Whoa! Random kids? <laughs> okay, this is fantastic! Great! <laughs> okay, well, um, alright. <laughs> wow, what? Okay. All right.
Okay, let's see. I don't remember what's gonna happen in this episode. Let's see. Uh... Oh, some Tsukihime. Okay. Okay, what's happening? Oh, okay. Why don't you go and wake him up? Or, I don't know. Okay, so is he still sleeping? Like... Damn, that's a really fancy cup. What the hell? What? Harps from the garden? Lolly River? Wait, what? Oh no, I feel like I know what's going to happen. No, wait, what? Oh wait, so her personality came, became... <laughs> yeah. So her personality got... Okay. <laughs> wow. They need to go to school. Like... <laughs> Wait, what the... Four! Yo! <laughs> yeah! One day, so they need to skip school today. Wow. Oh, wait, she leaves. He leaves. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Wait, that. Oh no. Okay, yo, run. Run. <laughs> It's just the second year. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right, yeah. <laughs> With oh, great. Well, no, obviously she, okay, yeah, oh wait, well, all right. No. <laughs> yeah, in, in the toilet, yeah. Wow. I don't... Uh, oh my god. Reserved, okay. Okay, oh my god. Yeah. I, well, what else can he do even? Like... I don't know. <laughs> Wait, at four years old, people should. Okay, I don't know. I don't know.
<laughs> the sound effects. I don't know why I forgot about this episode completely. I don't remember anything. <laughs> so one day you, you, okay great one complete day okay it's almost the evening so <laughs> hmm. Oh, I feel like she she reverted back to her. Yeah, yeah, she reverted back. All right, time to get slapped. Uh, <coughs> what is <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is still continuing. All right, um. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? What the hell is this Detective Conan? Two hun- <laughs> True hands ancestors really are the strongest. Wow. <laughs> wow. This thing has everything, even UFO. Yeah. Oh my god. There's even more of it. Steel frames are attacking people. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, shit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Grieve <laughs> yourself up. Oh my god, there's more of it. Super luxury cruise ship. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god, Sehagun is back. <laughs> the outside. <laughs> the outside. Oh my god, there's like gears and everything. This is reality marble. Great. Oh my god. As always, say hi Kun. Oh boy, this was a chaotic episode. My god. <laughs> oh. Okay, wait, so... <laughs> we are <coughs> replacing uh, the one... Um, what was it called? The Marble Phantasm or whatever? The, the one where... Arshad was uh, Maho Shoujo. We are replacing that with this one now. Like the Detective Hisui or like you know that one? <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay. I'm surprised that Gilgamesh is letting Kire actually touch him. Like, I guess, like, this is Kire we are talking about. Like, the, that Gilgamesh, like, that prideful Gilgamesh, he's letting someone touch him on his shoulder. Like, damn, I thought, like, <laughs> anyone other than Enkidu if does that was going to get killed or something. Alright. <coughs> what the? Hip hop ranking? <laughs> what? <laughs> Which universe? Oh my god. <coughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Ah, uh, this episode, my god. <coughs> okay, so here we start with some Tsukihime. I think, that, yeah, this, this whole episode was Tsukihime, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, so <laughs> Akiha, <laughs> she, oh my god, she gets <coughs> fed some tea which has these weird herbs in it which kind of reverts someone's uh, personality into a toddler. And that's what happened. She became four years old in <clears throat> in her personality department. And yeah, she she keeps like, what the hell am I supposed to do? We need we need to go to school. Oh my god! And <laughs> like, I know like these are exaggerated, but the, the the different characters in the schools, the way they were reacting, I was like, my god! Like, guys, just calm the hell down. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, obviously, these are exaggerated, like, you know, like, this is an anime, for God's sake. But still, like, the way they were reacting to Akiha, I'm like, okay, yeah. And I, I don't know, I, I think they, he should have just skipped school, like, at least for this day or something, you know, like, say that, yeah, I'm sick or something. But I guess Akiha would also, uh, I guess, Akiha kind of skipped school today because he did, she did not go to her class. So, but anyways, like, um, I do know, like, you know, in, in Japan, like, there's, like, a, uh, I think, like, People, like students, usually do not skip schools. I think it's very rare uh, for them to skip school, and it's like a very big deal. Like they have to, like you know, uh, inform the teachers and everything, and like, you know the parents needs to also like I don't know, like there's like a lot of things going on. So students usually do not skip school. I know that. Like as far as I've seen anime, I've seen this, um, which is obviously very different for at least from my country and I'm, I'm sure a lot of countries as well because we could usually just like you know phone call and like not even phone call like just like you know like skip school and next day we obviously we had to go and like you know give a reason like uh, like if you skip school more than three days at least in my country you have to like you know write a letter <laughs> to the principal or the class teacher and then like you know like uh, we had, had to like you know like get our parents signatures and stuff and get to get it uh, <coughs> signed by the <coughs> principal as well like all those stuff we had to do but that's more than like you know three or more than three days but one day it was okay you could just go to the class like you know like uh, to the teacher and say like yeah i had this problem so i wasn't able to come but for japan i i'm i'm pretty sure it's a very big deal i'm, I'm like you know i uh, as far as i've seen from anime i'm not sure whether it's real or not but in most of the animes I've seen, I've seen that like skipping class for at least even one day is like a huge deal for them. So that's probably why like, you know, Shiki also like, you know, obviously had to go to school today as well, even though he was facing this weird situation. So yeah, anyways, um, yeah, in his school, uh, oh my God. And Akiha was like, yeah, I need to like, you know, like she, she's like following him everywhere. Now, I don't, I, I doubt she was a four years old. I think she was like a one or two years old. Like, like how can a four years old, like, you know, child, I don't know, like, don't know how to go to the toilet alone. Like, what? 
I don't know. Like, I'm, I feel like she was not even, even younger than four years old. Like, it's impossible. Like, how can this happen? Like, like she's four years old. And four years old, like, you know, I think that people sh should be capable enough to do their own stuff. <laughs> but you know what? I guess because she, probably she was, like, you know, um, I think it, it's the reason because, like, you know, she she's, like, uh, very rich. And I guess, like, you know, like, probably the house uh like you know caretakers of the housemates did all the stuff for her maybe because of that you know like she was probably pamp i i don't remember anything of sukihime so i don't i can't remember if she was pampered or not i don't remember at all so i, I cannot say this like you know like confidently but probably it was because of that wasn't it like you know like since um i i, I guess like you know probably since she has like this huge mansion uh <clears throat> obviously she had maids and stuff so i'm guessing they took care of her when she was a child and that's why probably she even at four years old i guess she wasn't able to do things like you know uh personal stuff on her own so i don't know it's just a guess like i, I don't remember anything of sukihime so i don't remember if akiha was like you know pampered or what happened to her when she was a child oh boy, i'm waiting for the sukihime remake to get like you know translated you know I'm going to read it again. Like I've forgotten each and everything. Okay. Anyways. Um. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, that was that. And okay, the the girl we saw. Um, I don't remember her name as well. I forgot her name. Uh, the the brown haired girl. She came in and helped them out. Um. <clears throat> and she was like, "Yeah, I'm definitely not going to forget anything today. Happened all the things that today happened." <coughs> they go back and you know Akia kind of comes back to her senses while Shiko is giving her a piggyback ride like everything was going well but I feel like Shiki especially in <laughs> in these type of spin-offs are kind of um dense in a lot of ways like suddenly like you know him making a comment like that you know like and <laughs> Akia was like yeah you're, you're, you're going to die now you know her hair became red and just smacked the hell out of him I'm sure of it <laughs> and yeah okay and then we see hisui and like you know like them just having fun with this with the with the cough the thing <laughs> and yeah all right okay and then we get this <laughs> weird section of detective hisui and oh my god like <laughs> i'm guessing this this uh this show uh replaced uh the marble phantasm sukihime uh, uh the thing the the maho shoujo thing and like now it's like a detective conan like obviously that was a, a complete detective conan reference you know that that door the door that the wooden door you know like that that kind of they kind of show in the beginning that's obviously a detective conan reference because detective conan has that you know like whenever like a new episode starts or something like the door comes in and there's like a weird creaking noise of the door opening and then there's like the chapter or the title of the episode <laughs> and uh yeah, and also the way they were like, you know, like saying like, oh, this is happening, this is happening. It's kind of like a detective show, the way detective shows does. Like, oh, this happened. So do you think there is like the criminal inside, like, you know, within them or something? Uh, find out next episode or like something like that they do. <laughs> and yeah, they were doing that. Oh my God. And, and the different scenarios were hilarious. Like, my God. They, even in this, they were able to somehow kill off Lancer. Like, wow, great. <laughs> Poor Lancer. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was that. Oh, and, and, and in the end, like uh, the whole thing with the Sei Hai Kun, Grail Kun as well. Shiro comes in. Oh, Archer says that I'll never become a hero. <laughs> and Grail Kun is like, yeah, hey, there you go, peacemaker. <laughs> just, just, you know, uh, kill a, what, how many people? A million people? Oh no, not Peacemaker, sorry. Hero Creation Kid. Peacemaker was another one, I think. <laughs> In another episode that uh, Grail Kun is going to give uh, the character. <clears throat> You'll be a hero after killing a million people. My god. Oh, as always, Grail Kun, you know, twisting stuff according to his own wishes. And yeah. Alright, that was it. That was this episode. <laughs> Uh, that was funny this episode was great oh boy I, I don't know why i remember nothing of this episode nothing i don't know why 
I completely forgot this episode. Like, oh boy, I don't know. Uh, it's probably because, like, you know, like, as I said, like, you know, Sukihime, I've actually not read for a long while and I've forgotten everything. That's why I probably forgot this episode as well. But anyways, yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to um, uh, Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number 10. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. And I'll check them out. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. I'll definitely be back next week because I, I plan on completing this. Like, you know, I, I won't be taking any more, <clears throat> like, you know, breaks unless and until you know like something like you know really uh what can i say like i became become really busy or something unless and until like something like that happens i'll definitely um like you know try uh, to bring out another episode next week uh so yeah anyway so yeah i'll be back next week with another episode of fate carnival phantasm so until then goodbye and have a nice day